Dan Slusky, CEO of SCD at Def Expo. And let me start by asking Dan, what's new at Def Expo? Dan? First of all, it's uh, great to be here in Def Expo in India in general. India is one of our most strategic and important markets. We're here for more than 20 years and we feel at home. Um, what's interesting this year at the Fexpo is in addition to bringing in new detectors, smaller pitches, more different wavelengths, we're coming with a new paradigm. That the IR infrared detector is not just for sensing uh, images, but we're putting the smarts into the detector. Meaning in the, inside the detector, we're actually adding new functionality. We call it smart imaging which enables the system to extract much more information than just images. And we're actually leading a, uh, a national program of this uh, uh, technology, which we are also been working with our Indian partners on this, to actually bring this new functionality to, uh, to the system level. The requirement is huge, and the Indian government's policy says you must make them here. What are your comments on this? Yes. We fully understand that and are working uh, with a number of uh, partners on different levels in India. Uh, and we, are, we actually are, are, are uh, in the process of, uh, of a partnership, developing a partnership with an Indian uh, uh, um, partner, manufacturer. Uh, and in the near future, we will announce this. Um, because of this uh, approach, so we look for long term for the make in India and to have our presence in the, in, uh, in the country. What about this new thinking of fusion between II and thermal imaging? And uh, what new capabilities you have which others don't offer? We believe that's a very relevant direction. Uh, not only in fusion between different detectors, but also fusion within the same detector. Uh, multiple wavelengths in the same detector, this is something which is happening. Uh, and there are requirements there for a number of uh, applications. So this is a direction which is happening. And uh, the forces here, and particularly those operating in uh, the mountains or in counterinsurgency, are increasingly looking for more penetration uh, through obscure surfaces or through foliage or through dense fog. Uh, what are the solutions? It's an excellent question because it has an excellent answer. Uh, one of the uh, solutions that we're bringing and actually we're presenting here is our, our latest shortwave IR sensors, which enable exactly what you said. They penetrate haze, they penetrate fog, they look in very different uh, um, illumination scenarios. Uh, and the picture is very intuitive. It's actually not an infrared picture, it's actually a very uh, similar to a visible imager. And we have actually uh, developed this technology uh, we're actually looking to take it to the next level with some partners. We're working very, very closely with the DRDO on this. Uh, we have an excellent relationship with the DRDO, which has actually shown implementation of these new technologies in many, many different applications and programs. And one last question. The size and weight of sensors and the night vision equipments is going down and down. Where do you stand? We stand that the smaller is better. And we've implemented a number of technologies to uh, formulate this, such as wafer level packaging. We take detectors and we actually make them packaged in a wafer level, in a semiconductor level, which enables everything to be shrunk to a size. And then the soldier, who is the important one in the end, will be able to carry a system which is lightweight and able to ha have their performance uh, as optimal as possible. Uh, thank you for talking to IMR Dan. All the best to you.